So here's how everything shook out. Starting in 1080, the 7500F gave a solid baseline with a 172 FPS average, 126 FPS 1% 1 lows, and 110 FPS 0.1% lows. From there, the 9600X delivers about an 8% improvement in average FPS sitting at around 185, while the 7700X stepped up to 194 FPS, about a 13% gain over the 7500F. At the top, the 5700X 3D reaches 200 FPS, which is around 16% faster than the 7500F and just about 3% ahead of the 7700X. At this resolution, all CPUs perform extremely well, but the 5700X 3D maintains the best overall smoothness thanks to its large cache and frame time stability. Moving on to 1440, the 7500F was averaging 169 FPS, giggity giggity, while the 9600X was very close at 172 FPS, just about a 2% difference. The 7700X gained roughly about 12% at 190 FPS, and the 5700X 3D leads again with 195 FPS, which is about 15% faster than the 7500F I'm using as the baseline. However, something interesting showed up here. Even though the 5700X 3D has the highest average FPS, the 7700X actually posted slightly better low end consistency with better 1% and 0.1% lows. Maybe this is due to the 7700X's higher clock speeds and architecture efficiency, but I'm not completely sure why that's the case. If anyone has any good ideas on that, let me know in the comments. At 4K, things tighten up further. The 7500F averaged 161 FPS, while the 9600X came in 6% higher at 170. The 7700X jumps 13% at 183, and the 5700X 3D jumps 15% ahead at 185. And again, even though the 5700X 3D edged out the 7700X on average FPS, the 7700X again posted stronger 1% and 0.1% lows, giving it a slightly better rating on smoothness. And even in 4K where we're more GPU bound, there are some noticeable differences between each of these chips.